technology is more sophisticated than it sounds. Qualitatively, the technology required to build an unmanned drone, even the unarmed Predator, used in the Balkan War in the mid-1990s, is quite different from the technology required to produce a drone equipped with smart weapons. In other words, countries with sophisticated military technologies such as nuclear weapons and satellite communications have built advanced armed drones. The history of drone production in Iran dates back to the revolution, at the time of which a 10-year plan for drone production was considered, and the Iranian drone industry was supposed to start operating in 1981. The project was halted after the revolution, but eventually led to the establishment of the Quds Air Industries. This company is one of the current companies of the Aviation Industry Organization of the Ministry of Defense, which was established in the middle of the war in 1985 to design and manufacture various types of remote-controlled birds, drones. In an interview with the Iranian state media in October 2020, Iranian General Commander of the Army Ground Forces Drone Unit General Sharm Hassanajad stated that Iran was one of the leading countries in the field of drone technology, which is a valid evaluation as Iran possesses a substantial arsenal of drones, which can capture unobservable details. To illustrate, on January 4, 2021, a Worldview 2 satellite was able to identify a part of Iran's drone fleet on a distant airstrip in the desert near Semen, located in the north of the country. The image taken by European Space Imaging was provided to Bellingcat and depicted more than 154 different types of drones, which were lined up on January 6 for a large operation by the Iranian Armed Forces. It was during the parade on April 19, 2013, that the Sarer drone was displayed. This was a drone similar to the Hunter design, which was equipped with two rocket launchers under its wings. In 2014, the Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces support unveiled the SATA drone, which was, in fact, an unmanned aerial vehicle based on Migration Platform 4, in which case the drone was equipped with shower missiles and showed the first but important steps for the entry of drones into air border protection, and air missions were removed. Simultaneously, with the unveiling of its first bomber drone, the Air Force of the Revolutionary Guards released a picture of an advanced MQ-1C drone, which, according to this organization, was looted by American forces. It had announced the capture and landing of a US-owned drone at a depth of 225 kilometers on Iranian territory with little damage. The IRGC later announced, that it had decrypted the advanced U.S. drone. The International Institute for Strategic Studies reported that Iran's vast missile arsenal is expanding, particularly its drones and cruise missiles, which have destabilized power in the Middle East. Iran's ballistic missile systems, complemented by cruise missiles and drones, are intended not only for deterrence, but also for combat, including Iran's regional partners. Iran has four complementary strategies to meet the needs of its allies and to provide these drones and ballistic missiles to non-governmental actors, it uses direct transport, upgrading of existing missiles, transfer of production and supply capabilities through third parties. The drone that was launched was a Karar, which was an Iranian version of the Beechcraft MQM-107 streaker, which US used as an aerial target. Subsequently, in 2010, Iranians made some modifications and engineered these in a different way to produce Karar, which is powered via a jet and has a speed above 500 miles per hour. Modifications have been made to Karar for it to be utilized primarily as a bomber with a pair of anti-ship missiles weighing 250 pounds, a GPS-guided bomb weighing 500 pounds, or a small cruise missile.
According to the White House, the U.S. and Israel will find an interagency working group on the growing threat of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and precision-guided missiles produced by Iran and provided to its proxies in the Middle East region. One of the best Iranian drones is the Shad 129 drone. This drone can carry eight SATID smart bombs or missiles simultaneously, it is designed for fixed and mobile purposes and is equipped with advanced night vision cameras. The UAV has a ceiling of 24,000 feet connected to portable ground control stations and can defend the country at an exceptionally low cost. SHOD 129 has the power to monitor its radius of 200 kilometers, and this drone can be used against criminals and terrorists, reconnaissance at land and water borders, environmental issues, mapping and aerial photography.